Hello everyone. My name is Fernsi Korba from Physics Department at Sam Nambusko University. I am going to explain about a transformer. But before we go into the detail, I would like to remind that an electricity and a magnetism are interrelated. We know that electric charge produce magnetic field from Orsted. But then in 1830, Michael Faraday found that an electric current induced in the closed coil when subjected to the changing magnetic field. This is the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. By, so by using Faraday's law society has been benefit from important technologies such as a transformer. So we're going to the detail of a transformer. Let's start with an introduction. A transformer is a static device mean not in motion, used either to raise or lower the voltage of an AC supply with a corresponding device or increase in current. It based on the principle of mutual induction. That is, whenever the current or the magnetic flux through the coil change, an EMF is induced in the neighboring coil. That is mutual induction. Now, let's start with the construction. A transformer essentially consists of two winding the primary and the secondary. They are wounded on a common laminated soft iron coal as shown in the figure below. The winding connected to the AC source is called the primary winding and the other connected to the load is called the secondary winding. Here is the diagram. Well, the winding on the left hand side is called the primary winding and the winding on the right hand side is called the secondary winding. The alternate voltage VP is applied to the primary that is on the left hand side depending on the numbers of turn on the primary and P and the secondary and S an alternating EMF is induced in the secondary winding. EMF will cause a current IS to flow through the load which is connected across the secondary. Thus an AC power is transferred from primary to secondary through a magnetic flux phi by a transformer. Now we'll discuss the working. When an alternating voltage is applied to the primary, an alternating flux phi is set up in the core. The flux link both the winding and induce an EMF, EP and ES in them. According to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction state that the magnitude of the induced EMF in a current is equal to the time rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit. But in case of many turns, that is n turns, we add n in the rate of changing of magnetic flux. Then, therefore, ES by EP equal NS by NP. For an ideal transformer, EP should be equal to ES. If this were not so, the primary current would be infinite. And ES equal to VS since the primary has zero resistance. Well, Therefore, ES by EP equal VS by VP equal NS by NP equal K. Well, K is the transformer transformation ratio. If numbers of turn in the secondary is greater than numbers of turn in a the primary, then the EMF in the secondary is greater than EMF in the primary or the voltage in the secondary is greater than the voltage in the primary, it is then called a step-up transformers. If vice versa, then it's called the step-down transformer. That is ES by EP equal NS by NP or EP by NP equal ES by NS. This means that EMF Induced per turn is the same in primary as well as in secondary. There is no change in frequency. That is, output power has the same frequency as the input power. The efficiency of a transformer is very high so that the output power is nearly equal to the input power. That is, for an ideal transformer. For an ideal transformer, VP 
IP equal to VSIS. Then we get that equation which is equal to the transformation ratio. Number four, efficiency of a transformer, eta equal VS by IS, VP, IS equal ES, IS by EP, IP. There is a power loss in a transformer from core or iron loose or copper loose. These loss appear in the forms of a heat and produce high temperature. Now, we'll discuss about the use of a transformer. One important reason for widespread use of a transformer is that it can increase or decrease the magnitude of an alternating current all voltage. This properties of a transformer has a number of practical application. One important application is in a long distance electric power supply transmission. The voltage output of the generator is stepped up so that the current is reduced and consequently the power loss is cut down. It is then transmitted over long distance to area substation near the consumer. There, the village is stepped down. It is further stepped down at a distributing substation and utility pole before a power supply of 240 volt reaches a home. It also used for impedance matching. A step-down transformer is used for obtaining large current for welding purpose. A step-down transformer is used in induction furnace for melting the metal. A step-down transformer is used for production of X-ray. A step-down transformer with a rectifier is used as a low voltage DC source from electronic current. Only this, thank you.